then if we go over to the other side here, now you can see I put this blue uh, tarp on the edge here, and that is because if turtles can see out, they're going to keep kind of butting their heads up against it trying to get out. So if you put something solid up, they won't be trying to fight their way out all the time. But this right Scooter was an escaped uh, Russian tortoise. I get a lot of calls from people saying that they found this Russian tortoise and it was probably dumped by somebody. Chances are it wasn't dumped, but that it escaped. They are great escape artists. There's even a video of one climbing a chain link fence. And this one was found wandering. That one's name is Cheeseburger. It's pretty quick. And then this is Squirtle. Squirtle's a South American wood turtle. You see there we have one in the background there. There's Georgia going. But these guys right here, the two Russian tortoises are males and they will go at each other quite a bit so a lot of times they have to be separated matter of fact i'm gonna grab one of them right now and move it over here to the side because the two russian tortoises are both males and they can be a little bit territorial there's squirtle Squirtle is the first one that I got. And she's just a pretty girl. That's kind of nice. The grass is nice and damp. Let's see here. What are you guys doing? But uh, this one, like I said, probably was an escapee and probably had an encounter with, oh, well, possibly a dog or maybe a raccoon. And you can see a lot of the keratin on the shell has been picked away. But you can see how it's got this lighter line going around each of the scoots. That's a good sign because that means it's still growing. So. It is doing just fine. I've had it for about a year. And then here's my, my chili. Oops, just went back in her shell for a minute. You can hear the cicadas in the background. He's pretty cool. They can move a lot faster than you think. If you don't keep an eye on them, they can disappear on you pretty darn quick. Feels so good to bring them all outside. Okay, well, I'm going to do a little bit of yard work. I hope you're enjoying the turtles and the tortoises. I sure do. Especially my Tilly girl. You can see that Tilly has been growing. 
right there. Can you see how it's got kind of like a white line going all the way around here? That's kind of like her growth plates. That's how I can tell that she's growing when it gets that kind of like chalky look to it. And she sometimes likes to get it itched and she'll wiggle her butt. And she's a good girl. People want to know how they can feel through their shell because the shell is keratin, which is the same thing that your hair and your fingernails are made of. And think about this, when you get your hair cut, you can't, your hair can't feel that it's been cut. But you can sense when somebody is touching your hair because of what your hair is attached to. And that's the same thing with the turtles. The shell itself cannot feel, but because it's attached to their body, their body can sense when you touch it. And so they really do like to get a little bit of a scratch every now and then. You can, they'll even sometimes really lean into it. So, well, I'm gonna start uh, doing a little bit of gardening here and I'm gonna let the turtles and the tortoises play in the pen for a little bit and get some nice fresh air and a little bit of digging in the yard perhaps. Hi, Cindy. There's my baby Tilly. All right, well, I hope everybody enjoys their evening. Talk to you later.